But what we want to make sure is that there is no um, <clears throat> there's no undue delay, and um, why we obviously have to have uh, you know a robust planning system. I'm not suggesting for any minute that we wouldn't, um, but that if there is any issues there in relation to the holding up of specific projects, that we you know should be uh, cognizant of it because this is an economic driver at the end of the day. We have to have good planning. I'm not suggesting that we wouldn't, uh, but anecdotally we have heard of instances of where you know things might be able to be done better. Uh, and that's why the discussion that we're having at the moment in relation to the Irish Health Federation, the banks, <coughs> the Dublin City Council <coughs> will be done after Christmas, <coughs> and the Department of Planning and Local Government and Housing will also be after Christmas, um, that the, the, the series of discussions that we've had up to now have shaped really, uh, uh, formed a picture for us that certainly the picture isn't as bad as what I had in anticipated in terms of the pipeline. The pipeline is actually <coughs> based on the report that was commissioned for, for the department in Falch, Ireland. Um, the, the pipeline is actually quite quite full and there is a lot of interest in, in developing the sector in Dublin. We want to make sure that you know that there are no um, unnecessary speed bumps along the way because this is a major economic driver not only for Dublin uh, but for the entire country.